as you guys can see i am using a new level in unreal engine if you haven't enabled niagara fluids just go into your edit plugins and enable niagara fluids now we are going to do a boat simulation with the help of niagara liquid simulation so for that we are going to learn a new system today so for that you need to go to content drawer we are going to right click here we are going to create a new niagara system and here we are going to create a 3d flip pool so till now we have seen flip pose now we are going to see flip pool here and we are going to click on create here and now we are going to name it to boat now just drag and drop it into your level here and we are going to make sure that its location is basically set to zero here so we get our location into our zero axis now we are going to import our model i have downloaded a model from sketchfab you can do that also if you want to do so i have downloaded this boat it's in fbx so let's import that boat here so we are going to create a new folder here so let's right click and create a new folder and let's just name it to boat model now let's just double click it here we are going to right click and import our boat model so we are going to just open it now here you need to make sure that if you want you can go for nanite also but i want my meshes to be combined by default this would be turn off so just make sure that your meshes are combined so your boat will be one whole object or else you will get different different parts and at the end of the day you need to make sure that each one having is having each part is having collision so make sure that you choose the combine meshes option here and just click on import all just give it a minute to load and now you can see we are having this boat model here and we are going to drag and drop it here okay now if you see here we have got this boat but it's really small so we are going to increase it to 100 and now you can see we are getting this boat here let's just take it downwards to something like this and now you guys can see we are having this boat let's just center it out a bit but it's not working right now because you need to have a collider tag if you remember from our last video so we are going to click on our boat so we are going to search for tags here and now i am going to add a collider tag so i am going to type collider and as soon as i do that let's just test it out so let's just select our boat again and let's just move it and yes we are getting this foam here so this is looking nice now we need to increase the grid size here and our grid resolution so for that we are going to go to our niagara fluids we are going to open our niagara fluid so we are going to go to all and we are going to double click it here and we are going to basically drag and drop it here now we are going to just zoom in here we are just going to pause this simulation right now so we are going to do that and now we are going to increase our basically grid size so we are going to go downwards here i am going to go to around 1200 in x axis so it's perfectly in the center here and in y axis we are going to have something like 2500 for the starting point and now you can see we are getting this result here so what we can do we can take our boat backwards and now you can see we are getting this result here okay now you guys need to make sure that what exactly you are aiming for so if i increase the resolution right now of my boat here so let's just increase our resolution to let's say from 64 let's take it to 128 and if you increase the maximum axis you need to make sure that you increase the pressure iterations also so let's just take it to 250 and if i go here and now if i move you can see we are getting this beautiful foam here but i am not getting that much foam so what you can do there is a trick that you can do you can model a object here which covers the bottom part of this and then you can basically animate and parent it with your boat so if you want you can do that but right now i am not going to do it i am going to use this only so if i use it now if i go from top view here and if i use it here now you can see we are getting this wake here now we need to animate this but before doing that let's just increase this quality a bit more so we are going to take it to 200 and let's see if it is going to work yes it is working and now you can see we are getting this beautiful foam effect but it's dying way too fast 
So let's just first animate this boat here. So we are going to animate our boat here. And for that we are going to use the sequencer here. So we are going to create a new sequence and we are going to name it to boat here. We are going to add our boat to this sequencer. So actor to sequence and let's just add our boat here. Now you need to make sure that you are having a 24 FPS of film if you want. And you need to make sure that how much time it would take from point A to point B. So let's just switch it from 120 to let's say 400 here. Okay. And now let's just animate our transform here. And let's just make sure that our auto key is turned on here. And we are going to go to last frame. And we are going to move it somewhere over here. Now if I go back and play it again, yes, this is going to happen. So don't worry about this. Let it settle a bit. And now if I click on play, okay, you can see we are getting this result here. Now as you guys can see the boat speed is not that much fast. So we are not generating much foam here. So you need to make sure that your boat speed is fast. So let's just move this keyframe backwards somewhere over here. And now let's just take both keyframe and convert it to linear here. So we get same speed from start to end here. And now if I play here, yes, we are getting really good foam particles here. Okay, it's taking some time to reach here, which is a good thing. But again, if you want, you can play with the animation here. You can play with the values here and you can achieve the result that you want. Now again, I'm going to click on my boat. Let's just try to increase it to 250 here. Now let's click on play here. And yes, we are getting some really good foam results here. Now we are going to do one more thing. We are going to make sure that our boat is having a complex collision. So for that, you need to just double click on your static mesh here. You need to go downwards here and you need to make sure that your collision complexity is set to use complex collision as simple. So you need to make sure that it is done. You need to save here and here in our Niagara fluids, you need to make sure that you are having that you have turned on this use complex collisions here. Okay, just do that. Save it. And if I go here, we are getting some really good result. And now if I going to play here, okay, you can let this settle down or else you can do you can just click on this and you can just play with this values here and just click on play now. And yes, we are getting some really beautiful result here. Now we are going to work on our foam particles because it is dying way too fast here. So we are going to work on that. So let's just go to boat here. We are going to go to our grid flip secondary emitter. And we are going to play with our foam aging rate. We can basically randomize this also. So let's just random range float here. And we are going to randomize it to 0.3 to maybe 0.5 here. And we are going to do same for our spray. So let's just random range float. And let's just do it to 0.25 to 0.5 here. And let's just see our result what we are getting. So let's just go here. If I go backward again, you can just click here and you can type enter and this is going to get reset here. And now if I play here, now you can see we are getting this foam and which is taking much more time to die here. So this is looking really good now. Now you can increase the foam number also. So we can do that also. We are going to again go to boat. You can play with the lifetime also. You can play with the opacity also. So if you want, I basically keep it to 0.75 here. Okay, you if you want, you can do a random range float here. So we are going to do 0.5 to 0.75 here. Okay, now what we can do, we can go downwards here and we can play with our scale also. So let's just keep our foam scale curve to around 0.75 also. So now let's just do one thing. Okay, let's just go here. And now let's just test this out. So again, I'm going to press enter on 250 and this is going to settle here. And now you can say this is looking really good. 
and we are getting some really nice results. Now, if you want, you can increase the foam multiplier also. If you remember, we can do that by going to boat here. And if I expand this now, okay, so you need to expand this by clicking here. Okay, you need to go to your find secondary emission points here and you need to make sure that you are having a emission multiplier here. So let's take the emission multiplier to around three here and let's just go again by saving all and going to our boat here and let's just play here and now you can see we are getting some really good foam results here. So this is how easy it is to create ship sailing effects in Unreal Engine with the help of fluids. Now if you want you can make this water like this and then you can use this so it feels like it's going really smooth into our scene here. Okay and if you want you can again model some shape downwards here and you can use them also. So it will be just like a fake box which is attached to our ship and it will generate some really good form and mist into our scene here. So if I go back here and yes if you want you can also increase the velocity of this boat so it will generate some more foam because it is going to act as a heavier object. So if you want that you can go to your Niagara system again. Okay let's just save all first and you need to go to your basically properties of grid fluids okay and you need to make sure here that your motion that your collision velocity multiplier is set to maybe let's say three here and now if i go here and if i play now you can see we are getting some really good form here okay so it totally depends on the scene and on the speed of the boat also so if I take it to maybe let's say 10 here, it would be not looking that good. Okay, it would be looking something like this. So it will basically kill the scene. So just make sure that you play with the values here. Don't take it way too much. Okay, I would personally prefer around two here. Okay, and one more thing you can do, you can animate this also to get some really good effects into your scene. So how you can animate it, you can animate the rotation here. So if I go to my transform here and if I go to my rotation, I can animate them. Okay, so let's just animate somewhat rotation here. So let's say our boat is somewhat like this in the starting. Okay, and now if I move forward here, okay, in location we are getting a key here. I don't know why. So let's just delete this key right now and let's just check. Okay, this is working perfectly. Don't worry about this. This is going to happen here. Okay, let's just give some rotation here. So let's just do something like this. So we are getting some rotation into our boat. You can again go here. You can do something like this into your scene. Okay, so you are getting some basically a rotation here okay so now you can see we are getting this moment here okay now we can go here we can do something like this like this okay and then we can take it inwards also okay so this is going to go inwards here okay and again if i go here okay we can take it outwards a bit and we can basically rotate it forward and something like this. So we are going to now animate this. So we have animated this boat here and now if I click on play so let's just try to increase our resolution a bit. Okay I typed 3000 here so Unreal got crashed on me. So again let's just play with the values here. Okay let's just take it to 300 and my animation is not saved sadly. But if you want, you can do that animation which I showed you. This is how easy it is to create boat simulation in Unreal Engine with the help of Niagara Fluid. In next video, we are going to use an animated mesh and we are going to use this technique with our animated mesh. So if you like my video, please press that like button, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who wants to learn Unreal Engine. Bye bye guys.